two Western literature and nautical English. Two point one Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness and nautical English. Heart of Darkness is a novella written by Joseph Conrad. It was originally a three-part series in Blackwood's magazine in 1899. It is a story within a story, in which the protagonist, Marlow, recounts his adventure to a group of men on board an anchored ship. The story is about his early life as a ferry boat captain. Although his job is to transport ivory down river, Molo develops an interest in investigating an ivory trader in Africa. As the manager of a trading post, Kurz has established himself as a god among the natives in one of the darkest places on earth. Marlowe suspects something else of course, that he has gone mad. In many ways, Heart of Darkness is a traditional novella between the 19th century and the 20th century. Horror can be regarded as one of the themes of the novella as Kurtz cries out, the horror, the horror, before he dies. Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness contains a lot of words and passages that fall into the category of nautical English. ESP stands for English for Specific Purpose. This class aims to look for the contents of ESP. Nautical English can be seen as a type of ESP because it is related to ships and sailing. In Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness, many paraphrases depict sailing sceneries and boats. For example, this novel starts with the name of a boat, which is the Nelly. It is a cruising yarn mooring at the sea reach of the Thames. The Nelly, a cruising yarn, swung to her anchor without a flutter of the sails and was at rest. The flood had made. The wind was nearly calm and being bound down the river. The only thing for it was to come to and wait for the turn of the tide. A lot of words in this novella are used to describe the selling situations. The second paragraph gives a description of the scene where the Nelly was mooring. The words in red are nautical terms. The sea reach of the Thames stretched before us like the beginning of an interminable waterway. In the offing, the sea and the sky were welded together without a joint, and in the luminous space, the tent cells of the barges drifting up with the tide seemed to stand still. In red cluster of canvas sharply picked with glints of varnished sprits. According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, sea reach is a noun. It means the straight course of a river where it reaches or approaches the sea. Waterway is a navigable body of water. Offing is the part of the deep sea seen from the shore. Barges refer to any various boats. Tide is the alternate rising and the falling of the surface of the ocean and of water bodies. Canvas means a set of cells. In addition, 
This novella contains lots of nautical terms. For example, in the third paragraph, there are nautical terms. The director of companies was our captain and our host. We four affectionately watched his back as he stood in the bows, looking to seaward. On the whole river, there was nothing that looked half so nautical. He resembled a pilot, which to a seaman is trustworthiness personified. It was difficult to realize his work was not out there in the luminous estuary, but behind him was in the brooding gloom. The word captain refers to the person in charge of a ship, according to Cambridge Dictionary. Captain is definitely one of nautical terms. Bows are the front part of a ship when used as a noun. According to Merriam Webster Dictionary, the word seaward means the direction or side away from land and toward the open sea. As an adjective, nautical is definitely one of nautical terms. A pilot is a helmsman who is employed to steer a ship. Seaman, sailor, mariner are synonyms. The estuary is a water passage where the tide meets a river current. According to Marian Webster Dictionary, in short, this paragraph is filled with nautical terms. Now, let me repeat the nautical terms that I have found in the first three paragraphs of Heart of Darkness. Anchor Sails The River The Tide Sea Reach The Tense Waterway Offing the sea, barges, canvas, spritz, captain, the bows, seaward, nautical, a pilot, a seaman, estuary. Now, let me repeat the nautical terms and show you the Chinese meaning of these words. Anchor Sails The river The tide Sea reach The tents Waterway Offing The sea Barges, canvas, spritz, captain, the bows, seaward, nautical, a pilot, a seaman, estuary. 